Hi everyone, my name is Mike Curtis. I'm a senior UX designer, creator of the U Design System, where I help you take the design principles and skills that you already have and apply them to yourself to design how you are experienced by others. Uh, today I have an article I'd like to read for you that I wrote on Medium. The name of this article is Anger, Understanding a First Principle Emotion on Our Personal Experience Design. Be the master of your true intentions. Uh, if you like this kind of content, it would really be helpful if you would like and subscribe, and it'll just let me know that, hey, this is something people are interested in, and I'll continue to uh, read more of my articles and make more of this content. So let's jump into it. And maybe before I do, I'll just kind of stick on this image for a minute because I will refer to the image in just a moment. Kind of a scary one. Make him angrier. So. Anger is a fundamental emotion that shapes how you're experienced by others. And yikes, like I said, that's a scary cover image to begin this article. I'm sorry about that, but I did it for a good reason. Uh, I ran an experiment with ChatGPT, and the first prompt started like this. Stock photo of an angry man. Then, through a progression of prompts, I asked the AI to make him angrier. I did it repeatedly until a few mind-boggling things emerged. First, I noticed the color red, specifically, then light in the form of lightning bolts and energy, and finally an amalgamation of otherworldly fury, an explosion of emotion both at a micro and macro level. But why did it progress that way? It's intriguing how a simple request to depict anger can unravel into a profound display of the emotion's depths. This progression from this man's furrowed brow to a supernova display of fury is more than just an artistic journey by an AI tool. It teaches us something. It's a telling sign of how these AI tools recognize, interpret, and display our fundamental human emotions. But more importantly, this is a window into our psyche. Anger, often regarded as a basic raw emotion, holds within it layers of complexity that we seldom acknowledge. Yet understanding and navigating this emotion is crucial to your well-being and to shaping how others experience you. People experience you through your emotions and they remember you for them. Every emotion we display paints a picture of our persona. Anger with its fiery intensity and raw power is one of the boldest strokes in that painting. How we wield this emotion can either mar the canvas or add to its depth. Mastering anger is key to designing the way others experience us. After this article, you may find that anger, often seen as a disruptor, can be a powerful architect in constructing your interactions and relationships. There are layers beneath the intense reds and the crackling blasts of energy. Let's learn how to harness this primal internal force as a tool for building a more authentic, understood, and positively experienced self. And to do that, let's first talk about the color red. Red, a universal signal we can control. Again, apologies for this image. If you're watching on YouTube, this is a little bit scary. <laughs> uh, the most striking change I observed was the color transition predominantly towards red. It only took me three times asking ChatGPT to make him angrier for intense reds to dominate the picture, and it quickly became a much more terrifying image. In color theory, red is the alarm bell of the spectrum. It signifies danger, urgency, errors, and notably rage and anger. Funny enough, funny enough though, red is also associated with love. This is not arbitrary. It's deeply rooted in our biology and cultural interpretations but specifically looking at red as it pertains to anger. When we express anger, we're often seen as red in the face. Our blood comes out red, and there's even the phrase, it makes my blood boil, that we use in the United States when we're angry. And understanding the impact of color red in our expressions of anger offers a powerful tool for designing how others experience us. Anger alters the experience others have of us, this automatic association with red signals to others that we are in a state of heightened emotional arousal, potentially altering their experience of us. Red doesn't just signal anger, it evokes a response. It can raise heart rates and create a sense of urgency. 
When someone perceives us in anger, the redness in our expression can trigger a primal, almost instinctive reaction. It's a color that demands attention and reaction. It influences the dynamics of our interactions. Across cultures, red as a symbol of anger bridges languages and tradition, making it a universal marker of heightened emotion. This universality means that our anger and its red representation can be easily recognized and interpreted by others. If that's the case, then we can recognize our anger and design how others experience us when we feel this emotion. Here's what you can do. Number one, notice the physical changes. Pay attention to the physical signs of anger like a flushed face or faster heartbeat and use calming techniques like deep breathing to manage the intensity. Number two, use I statements in conflict. During moments of anger, communicate effectively by using I statements. For example, I feel upset when to express feelings constructively without escalating the situation. And number three, empathize with others' anger. Recognize signs of anger in others as a cue for empathy and patience. The point here is not to suppress anger altogether. It's about recognizing its power and manifestations. By being aware of how our expressions of anger, like the flush of our cheeks, the intensity in our eyes, that can be perceived, we gain control over our emotional presentation. It enables us to navigate social interactions more thoughtfully, ensuring that our anger, when it does service, is understood in context and not just as an uncontrolled emotional outburst. The lightning within. Again, another scary image. I apologize. <laughs> Look closely at what's happening with this picture. I'll scroll back up. As I continued to prompt the AI, I noticed an intriguing transformation. Anger began to manif manifest as bolts of lightning. The veins were electrified. This stopped me in my tracks. This wasn't just a dramatic artistic choice by artificial intelligence. It symbolized a deeper psychological and emotional representation of anger. When we see anger as a form of energy, we should pause and consider what this means. Lightning is sudden, quick, and powerful. It's nature's sudden release of energy. It's quick and can be unpredictable. These characteristics align closely with how anger manifests within us. It can emerge rapidly, often catching both the person experiencing it and those around them off guard. This suddenness is key to understanding anger's impact on how others experience us. Lightning also illuminates, but only briefly. In our moments of anger, much like a lightning strike, there can be a flash or of clarity or realization. It can bring to light underlying issues or feelings that were previously hidden or ignored. Channeling our anger constructively leads to personal growth and better communication in relationships. And just like lightning transfers energy from the sky to the earth, anger can be seen as a transfer of emotional energy. It can be a response to a perceived injustice or frustration, where the energy builds up and needs an outlet. How we choose to release this energy significantly affects how others experience and respond to us. The intensity of the lightning in the images I generated mirrored the intensity of anger. This intensity can be overwhelming, not just for the person feeling it, but also for the people around you. It highlights the importance of managing our emotional energy, ensuring it doesn't harm our relationships or social interactions. How do we control these bursts? Here's what you can do. Number one, acknowledge anger's suddenness. Understand that anger can emerge quickly and unexpectedly. Recognize this sudden nature to better anticipate and manage your responses. And number two, find clarity in anger. Use moments of anger as opportunities for insight. Identify the underlying causes and use these revelations to resolve hidden issues. And finally, number three, channel anger constructively. Direct the energy of anger towards positive actions, like assertively addressing problems or advocating for change, instead of letting it result in destructive outbursts. Anger, when understood and harnessed, can be a powerful motivator for change and assertiveness but it is a potent force. It can drive us to address issues and take action where need, needed or drive others away. 
And like lightning, the way we release our anger can have significant effects. Learn to express your anger in a controlled, constructive manner to prevent emotional outbursts that might negatively impact how others experience you. Mastering anger is the ultimate design of self-experience. Again, our final scary image here. Now for the good part. If this doesn't give you goosebumps, I don't know what will. My final ChatGPT prompt culminated anger into a profound metaphor. I was so taken aback by this final image that I had to step away from this article and think about what this means. There was something so deep and intricate about it and I knew it was speaking to me. This final image in the series depicted anger not just as an emotion, but as a cataclysmic force akin to a molecular explosion. It was breaking apart atoms at the micro level while expressing the intensity at the macrocosmic level, both worlds coming together. It encapsulates the real impact of anger when left unchecked and misunderstood. The image's portrayal of anger at these levels suggests that anger's impact goes deeper than just immediate emotional outbursts. It affects us at a core level, influencing our thoughts, behaviors, and even our physical health. The explosion, the explosion like representation of anger symbolizes its far reaching effects. Our anger doesn't just affect us, it impacts those around us, shaping how they perceive, interact with, and experience us. So here's what you can do. Number one, recognize the early warning signs. Be vigilant about the early signs of building anger, a tightening in the chest, clenching of fists, or a rising voice. Early recognition allows you to address the emotion before it escalates to an overwhelming state. Number two, reflect and address the root causes. Take time to reflect on what triggers your anger. Understanding the deeper reasons, be it past experiences, current stressors, or unmet expectations, can help you address these issues constructively preventing the emotion from reaching a molecular explosion level. And finally, number three, use anger for positive change. Channel the energy of anger into actions that lead to positive change. This could mean advocating for yourself, initiating difficult but necessary conversations, or using the emotion as a catalyst for growth. We have the power to understand and control the explosion. The progression to this explosive state of anger in my AI-generated images mirrors how anger can build up over time, often unnoticed. Recognizing the, si the signs early and addressing the underlying issues is key to preventing such overwhelming emotional eruptions. We can learn to channel our anger constructively. It requires understanding the emotion's roots and using its energy for positive actions. Design the experience you give to others by mastering your expression of anger. Thanks for listening today. Hopefully you enjoyed that article. Hopefully this uh, first image here didn't scare you off. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has a, been a lot of fun for me to read my articles to you. If this is something you enjoy, something that uh, you find value in, would really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe to this content, just lets me know that uh, that people are finding this uh, content interesting. Otherwise, no worries. Um, but, but hope you have a wonderful day, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks.